Get glowing, lively looking skin without makeup. It's not only important to keep your skin in good shape for health reasons, it's also an essential element of beauty. The most obvious way to make your skin appear younger looking and more alive is by covering up your flaws with makeup. But there are plenty of other ways to achieve that lively look without using artificial solutions to get that glow. Try a few methods to find out which one works for you. Drink plenty of water. Water is necessary for hydrating all your organs, including the largest one, your skin. Most doctors recommend that you drink at least 8 glasses of water a day. It may not always be the easiest thing to do, but you can get in all 8 if you plan accordingly. Like if you make sure you drink at least 2 glasses of water at both breakfast and lunch, you'll be halfway there by the middle of the day. To make that flawless skin is to mash a banana or two and then add a dash of milk to the mixture. Stir the ingredients until they create a paste-like effect. Apply the paste to your face and let it sit for at least 15 minutes. Then after so, rinse it off with cold water for an instant glowing effect. Another way to get that alive skin is to create a mixture of egg whites and honey. Using more honey if you have like oily skin and using more egg white if you have dry skin. Make sure you apply the mixture to your face and let it sit for at least 20 minutes and then after rinse it off with cold water. And it goes without end that we make sure that we get plenty of rest and I struggle with that. I seem to be a night owl these days and we know that there is such thing as beauty sleep and that beauty sleep is a real thing. And those who get more sleep look more attractive and it keeps their face looking alive by sleeping at least those 8 hours that they need each night. Another method that I use is I apply a couple of drops of extra virgin olive oil to my face each night before I go to bed after I clean off all my makeup and I just really just rub the oil around it to absorb it to my skin and what happens is the natural fats in the oil will hydrate your skin without making it look excessively greasy and also you don't have to worry about the pores because olive oil contains the same fat as your natural oils in your skin so you don't have to worry about breakouts and ideally your face will look more youthful and glowing the more you practice
wear sunscreen every time you go outside in the sun. It doesn't have to be summer to wear sunscreen, even if it's only to run an errand. Make sure to apply a sunscreen with that SPF 15 or higher to get the desired effect. It's actually 15 active hours and more that product will work. Avoid excessive exposure to direct sunlight. It will help keep your skin looking vibrant and youthful instead of wrinkled and worn down. And most importantly, what I'm learning is that even to wear sunglasses because you squint a lot because the sun's in your eyes, especially when you're coming from work and you begin to um, develop under eye wrinkling or what others call smile lines. So you want to make sure that you get you a nice pair of sunglasses. They don't have to be extremely dark, but enough to block that sun ray out to prevent wrinkling. So make sure you use sunscreen. Um, dark spots and freckles, they often appear on the skin as a result of damage from the sun. And most dermatologists is now recommending that you use at least SP5030 and apply it all over your skin. But use it at your own discretion. The most important way to get that healthy skin is eat foods that are rich in vitamins like nuts, fruits, and vegetables. Foods high in omega-3 like salmon and tuna have fatty acids and are also good for the skin, which will give you a more lively looking face. One of the things that I do is exfoliate my skin and using an exfoliate scrub once or twice a week can greatly help improve your skin. I have attached a link here and you can go back to my other video and it will show you other types of exfoliating treatments that you can apply to your skin and what happens is the exfoliant slopes off that extra dead skin cells and instead of spending that extra money on expensive exfoliators just make sure you try one of my remedies to help you with that. If you use any products on your skin that may trigger skin irritation or if you have any skin conditions that do not seem to go away or worsen, make sure you go see a dermatologist. So hopefully you can use one of these methods to help find what works best with you achieving this fall of skin that you're after. And as always, I thank you for watching my videos and I look forward to uploading new things in the future and just keep watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to rate and don't forget to like this channel and if you are interested share it with others so that they can have the opportunity to come in and view some of these helpful tutorials and as always God bless and stay creative